Are you thinking of spending money on Genesis crystals? If yes, then I recommend watching this because it might just save you a bunch of money. There's this website called Loot Bar GG, where you can save up to 20% compared to in-game purchases. Since Loot Bar uses the official partnership route, you can enjoy all the official Hoyaverse recharge events, meaning you can get twice the amount of Genesis crystals if you have the bonus. This is how I purchased 6,560 Genesis crystals for only $47. Huh? All I had to do was provide my UAD and make the payment, and one to two minutes later, I received the crystals on my account. No hassle. It's completely safe and secure, and has thousands of good reviews on their website. Even big shots like Dukaja, Tevat Times, and Jello Impact approve of Loot Bar, so head over to the link in the description and start saving money. New users get 5% off their first purchase. Hello everyone, today, we'll be sharing the characters set to appear in patches 5.1 to 5.3, and some speculations about potential reruns during these updates. Starting with patch 5.1, it's scheduled to go live on October 8th for American servers and October 9th for everyone else. Thanks to official drip marketing, we already know that Shailanen will be the only new unit. Shailanen's kit looks incredibly powerful, and if you're aiming to pull for a broken unit, she might be the best choice. Her skill reduces enemies' elemental resistance by 36% and provides single-target healing with her burst. Plus, she can apply resistance shred to three elements at once. She's great if you don't need crowd control, potentially even better than Kazuha. If you like her design, she's a fantastic support unit to pull for. As for reruns in 5.1, Nahida is almost guaranteed likely due to the major event being the Sabzaruz Festival. Nahida is a must-pull if you don't have her yet, especially with her powerful Dendro reactions. For other rerun units, we're expecting Chiori and Hu Tao, though fans of Ryothesli and Shenhei might be disappointed. I believe Shalonen and Kiori will be in the first half of the patch, with Nahida and Hu Tao in the second half. Moving to patch 5.2, it's expected to feature two new units, Chaska and Ororan. Chaska is rumored to be an Animo sword user who excels at swirling elements and gaining buffs, and she might even have the ability to fly, making her great for exploration. For reruns in 5.2, we'll likely see another Archon, with Zhongli being the most probable choice. He's an amazing shielder and makes gameplay more comfortable, especially for mobile players. I also believe Arlecchino will get her first rerun and recent sources suggest Wanderer will return as well, which feels a bit soon considering his recent rerun. Make sure to join our Discord server to take part in frequent giveaways, get instant leaks and updates, and hang out with other Genshin players, including me. Link is in the description. Looking ahead to patch 5.3, it will introduce two new units, the Pyro Archon Mavuika and Sitlali. There's speculation that Sitlali might be a 5-star Cryo Catalyst user, though this isn't confirmed. Mavuika's kit is rumored to function similarly to Dehya's, but with more versatility, including a Pyro Infusion and summons that deal damage. The wildest rumor is that Mavuika's exploration ability will involve riding a motorcycle that can climb mountains and ride on water. Finally, we're expecting the return of the Chronicled Wish Banner in 5.3 likely tied to the Lantern Rite event. This banner could feature characters like Chi Chi and Kei Ching, along with limited units like Ganyu, Xiao, Baiju. That's all, thanks for watching and subscribe, or you'll lose your 50-50 to Chi Chi.